<laughs> Hello, YT sisters. It's your girl Tiger here. Um, yeah, it's hard for me t to show my face and do this too. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare this and let y'all see me prepare it. <laughs> this is so crazy. But I'm going to let y'all see me prepare because I got to get this done because I start orientation for my new job today. But anyway, as y'all can see, <laughs> I have some ground beef in here. Now, how much ground beef you use is solely dependent upon how many people you trying to feed, how many in your family. So you can use however much ground beef you want to use. What I'm making today is called porcupine meatballs, Okay. And if you know anything about porcupines, you know, they got them little porcupine needle things like on their back. And so that's where the name of this recipe has really originated from. Okay, so I'm just going to start preparing this. And then, well, anyway, here I go. <laughs> so you get your ground beef together. It's like I did. And... I'm going to season my ground beef with what I want to season my ground beef with. Some of y'all only use salt and pepper. That's y'all business. Um, but I'm black and Puerto Rican, so y'all know I like flavor. So here we go. I'm going to put some uh, seasoning salt in my ground beef. Okay. It might look like a lot, but trust, it's not. And then some onion powder. And you can go... You can put as much as you want to put onion powder in here because it's really not going to change nothing. That's why I get powders because powders are not salty like salts. Okay, and then I got some black pepper. Woo, Charlie, and it's only a little bit in here, so yes, I'm going to use it all. <clears throat> going to use it all and get it all in there. Yep, that's it. That's all of that black pepper. Then I got some garlic powder, which is another one of my favorites, and I'm just going to put that enough to cover up the meat. Okay, now, now that I got that in, yeah, I'm eating my breakfast. I got some um, green peppers and some onions in this bowl. I, it's not a matter of how much you need, just put what you want. And there you go. There's mine. And I cut up about one medium sized green pepper and some like some of the green onions or whatever. Okay. Now, here's where the porcupine comes in at. The rice. So this is a bowl of rice. I'm not gonna use all this, so let me get up so I can put how much I'm gonna put in there. I'm gonna put like I might as well have put all of it in there, but I didn't. Okay, so those that rice, that's going to be my little needles on my porcupine. Now, I have two eggs. Some people use eggs, some people don't. I like the eggs. Helps hold my meatballs together. And, hey, when you have balls, you're supposed to have two, so two eggs. And there you go. Now. Okay. After you got all your ingredients in it, then you're going to mix this stuff up, baby. Mix it up. Mix it up really good. And this is good. You can serve this on a bed of <laughs> a rice, which will probably be crazy because porcupine and meatballs already got rice in, inside them but you can serve it with like some mashed potatoes or you know a vegetable of your choice you know whatever and so basically you mix everything together like that right right okay and that's what i'm doing i'm trying to mix everything together real good like okay now, I done mixed all this together. Now, it's time to make the meatballs. So, okay. Now, let me move the rest of this rice in my breakfast. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this pot. Mm -hmm. Pot. Let me go right here. Mm. 
what I'm gonna do is start taking a beat and rolling it up like that. And there you go, a meatball. Put it in a meatball pot. And your meatballs, the size of your meatballs is entirely up to you, people. So, somebody asked me before, did the rice have to be cooked before you put it in the ground beef? Um, as you can see, no. Because it's going to cook when it's cooking. So, these are my meatballs. So I have to be at orientation today at 3.30 in Sebring, Florida, which is like an hour away from me, so I got to get started on supper early for my children, so when my daughter comes home from school, this is off from high school, her little greedy self has something to eat, and when my grandkids get here later, they'll have something to eat, so, okay. So anyway, I'm just, right now, I'm just making my little meatballs, and like I said, the rice is what's going to make it look like porcupines, because the rice, as it cooks, you know, that's what happens. <clears throat> and yeah, so I think today, I'm going to make mine with like some scallop potatoes or something like that and I don't know some kind of some kind of vegetable um but because you know I use tomato as well when I cook them um I don't really need a vegetable I mean that can really kind of count as a vegetable a lot of people use tomato soup when they make their porcupine meatballs, I don't like tomato soup. I'm going to tell you why. Because tomato soup is salty as hell. And I don't need that. And see, these have to cook for at least an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. So you don't want to be cooking nothing that's salty for that long. So, yeah. And it looks like I got a lot of um, meatballs here. So... Uh, I don't know if my pot big enough for all these meatballs, but, um, yeah, y'all, so I hope everybody having a, a blessed, uh, week and everything, and I got my paper turned in yesterday, um, I had to design a classroom and all that good mess, and, um, yeah, uh, it was difficult, it was kind of hard, but, I'm trying to hang in there, y'all, because I got to pass this class. I ain't got to pass it with an A, but I got to pass this class. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm almost done. Some people use, like, one pound of um, ground beef, and some people use more, like me, because I have a big family, and I just want to make sure that everybody is full. So, yeah, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Da -da 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 -da. This is how you do it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I better not quit my day job. This is how you do it. It's Friday night. Y'all remember that song? Okay, so, yeah, I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can, y'all, because, um, <clears throat> I know y'all don't want to see me doing meatballs all day, so, I'm trying to hurry up and do my porcupine meatballs, okay, um, I got a pretty big skillet, but I still don't know if it's big enough for all of this, because this is a lot. So far, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, um, 15, 16, 
porcupine and meatballs. And mine are kind of big, which is cool because people in my house is greedy. So it's all right. And okay. So um, I'm almost done, y'all. Be patient. And I don't have an editing program on this computer, so I can't be like, you know, coming in and going out and stuff like that. But yeah, so once you mix everything together, you just start rolling your meatballs. Put them in the pan or whatever, you know, and prepare them. So you can put them in the next step. The next step process is what I'm going to show y'all in a second. Okay. So just rolling, rolling, rolling. And there you go. See the meatball? And roll it. Put that in there. Damn, y'all. This is a pop. Okay. So, oh. I'm going to get done. Yep. Okay. Okay, y'all, we got a few more. <laughs> Damn. Okay. And I'm trying to do this as fast as I can, y'all, but it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard, baby. It's kind of hard. Okay, so um, almost done. Just a few more, probably about three more. Probably about three. One. These are some big meatballs, y'all. Everybody only gonna probably need about two of them, two or three, depending on the appetites. So, just roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. <laughs> so you make it meatball round. See? Mm. Okay. I only got enough for two more. Thank goodness for Chef Boyle. Okay. Okay, this one is kind of acting crazy because it's small and all the peppers is poking out. Okay, so this is the last one. All right, finally. It's hard to do this when you got a lot of peppers and onions and you don't want to. Anyway, when you start doing that, you got to roll it slow because it keeps trying to break up. Okay, but anyway, there we go. Okay, so now I have mixed all my meatballs. Let me show y'all what they look like. These are the meatballs. They some nice size meatballs. Yep. Okay. Now. The next step, <clears throat> I'm going to have to move this over, over here, probably. Okay, now the next step is, now, this part right here, I have tomato sauce and, like, two cans of water, um, however much, what you want to use, that's your preference, you can use what you want to use, um, like I said, some people use um, tomato soup. I don't like tomato soup um, because it's very salty. So I have one can of tomato sauce, I think, and then <clears throat> like two cans of water or whatever because I don't want it too tomato -y, you know. So anyway, you just start taking your, your meatballs and you just put them in there like that. This is what we call the pronto porcupine meatball method. And the reason we call it pronto 
is because we're cooking on top of the stove. Sometimes you can prepare these meatballs, put them in the oven, and let them cook that way as well. But I'm cooking mine on top of the stove. And it's still going to be delicious. And I'm trying to see if I can fit all of these meatballs in here, y'all. And that would be, in a perfect world, that would be great. So i got to maneuver a little bit, move some of them around a little bit. And yeah, there we go, there we go. And I've been wanting to make this for a while now. Just never got around to it, and then every time I had to cut my ground beef, I end up falling asleep or something like that. So I took out my ground beef last night and woke up this morning and it was defrosted, and I was like, "Hey, time to make the pork pie meatballs." So okay, so yeah, I managed to fit all of them in there. Hey, 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 hey. So now, now what we do is let them cook slow. I got my stove set on the number three. And I'm going to take a top and I'm going to cover it up. And I'm going to let these cook slow because they got to cook for like an hour. And I'm going to make my scalloped potatoes and some kind of mixed vegetable or something. But when this is done... I'm going to come back with another video. Deuces.